greatest plays in Duke history. A moment of magic. This Saturday, the Clemson players will be rubbing Howard's Rock, running down the hill, and taking on the Georgia Bulldogs for the first time in a decade. And it's a perfect year to renew the rivalry. Both teams are preseason top 10, and they both have a Heisman Trophy candidate at quarterback. And that makes this the perfect matchup for us to debut ACC throwback. Each week during the football season, we'll dig into the ACC vault and find a great game in the history of the conference and then bring it to you in about 30 minutes. So let's flash back to 1987. Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. Glenn Close had a fatal attraction. And on these sidelines, legends Vince Dooley and Danny Ford were matching wits in a great game that would go down to the final seconds. ACC throwback, Georgia, Clemson, 1987. Enjoy here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Burn at the goal line for Georgia. Ooh, There's an alley. Good opening field position for the Bulldogs on that return by Cassius Osborne, a wide receiver. He hauls it out 40 yards. First and 10 with the ball at midfield for Georgia. Their opening possession. Off a of big and tight. He took a blow and completed the pass to his tight end, Sadowski. That was Gene Beasley leading the defensive pursuit of Sadowski. They have moved 55 yards. This is the 13th play of a very impressive series. Jackson off the bootleg, looking for a receiver on the run, keeps it. The Clemson defense was equal to that task. That was Henry Carter for Coach Ford chasing the quarterback. And in trouble. Out of bounds. That will signal the arrival of the kicker, Steve Crumley. A 21 yard field goal attempt by Crumley. From the hash, it's true. The Bulldogs score first. Williams throws outside quickly to Cooper. And Cooper busts free. Nothing's going here. We'll see last year's hero, David Treadwell, attempt to tie it. Motion. And they run the tailback alley. They're going to be content to kick the field goal and come back down tied at three. Ball will be held on the 20 yard line. This is a 30 yard attempt by Treadwell who beat the Bulldogs at the closing buzzer a year ago. He has tied this game. Three number 19. He hangs one up and Lewis with sure hands. Fields it at the 24. Oh, slick return. 45. 50. One man to beat his style. He gets past him. Lewis breaks free for a touchdown. The Bulldog strike. Nathaniel Lewis, the junior wide receiver, returns the punt 76 yards for a touchdown. And credit number 28, Aaron Chubb, with the key block that sprung him. And here in Clemson, Georgia leads the Tigers 10-3. Williams with a deep drop this time from plate to Jennings. Jennings inside the 40-yard line with a 17-yard gain and a first down Clemson. So Clemson trailing by seven on the move here. And the penalty helped establish better field position. And again they run the fullback right straight ahead. And Johnson breaks free. They won't catch it. We thought we were going to have one of those.
those low-scoring defensive tussles as Tracy Johnson bolts 38 yards for the touchdown. Here's Tate behind the fullback. And he might have gone the distance except for the tackle by Richard Smith and Donnell Wolford who came over to help. This is third and three. Under fire, mm. incomplete. Had a man open. Sadowski is tight end, and he overthrew him because he was under pressure from James Earl. Crumley's one of the few straight-on kickers you're going to see. First one at Georgia since the uh, Nixon administration. <laughs> and he will attempt a 41-yarder here. It's off to the right. Stays tied at 10. Rodney Hampton replaces Tate. Jackson throws deep down the sideline. Oh. Almost intercepted. Richard Smith, the mm. free safety, got back, had a shot at it, but couldn't hold on. Fourth down. Ooh. The punter bobbled the ball. Got off a bad punt. Clemson can take the lead before the half. Only a seven-yard punt by Hester. He bobbles the snap. He is the punter who must replace Chris Carpenter, who signed a baseball contract with the St. Louis Cardinals. And under fire here, he simply bobbled it as he was preparing to punt the ball. And I thought he looked up there a little, Brent. I think he saw the outside pressure. The special teams has played heavily for Georgia, both positive and negatively. Davis in motion. They run McFadden straight ahead. And a nice call there by Clemson, uh, Clemson, Brent, because Georgia was coming with an outside blitz. The strong safety came from the outside, really soft on the inside. So a nice little call on the draw. Watch the center right here who's going to pick up the blitz on the inside, but this man's going to come from the outside as well. And then they run the little draw play inside. A nice call in the situation. The fullback makes a nice block as well. Setting up this third down for Clemson and five for a first down. Williams keeps it and he is stopped short of the first down. Bill Goldberg, the nose man, number 95, led the defense that time. Out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Danny Ford is actually considering going for this right now rather than kicking the field goal. It surprises me because it is fourth and in in easily two yards. I think he's a little bit concerned about how far Treadwell might be able to kick it. He has one timeout left. He's checking the clock up there, letting it run down. Now he will come with Treadwell. They will attempt the field goal. Georgia has blocked a couple of Clemson field goal attempts. It's long enough, and he's got it. 43-yard field goal by Mr. Clutch. You are right. Treadwell has either won or tied game four games for Clemson over the last two seasons. He has never missed in the last six minutes. That's the guy I want on my side. Clock continuing to run. They'll go without a huddle right now. Jackson with the dogs at the line. Gets good protection from his backs and completes it to Thomas. So on second and 10, Jackson on the quarterback draw gets to the 11-yard line. Clock running toward 20 seconds. Bulldogs with that one timeout remaining. This is short of a first down for them. Third and short, and he'll stop the clock. Out of bounds with 12 seconds remaining. So on fourth down, Crumley will attempt the field goal. 
It's 28 yards. He has kicked a 21 yarder. This one is there. It's Clemson 13, Georgia 13. We are back live, and our picture has been restored here in Clemson. And Pat Hayden, we must bring everybody up to date. Clemson received the kickoff, came down and fumbled, and then Georgia on a fake field goal was stuffed. Now the situation is third and three. The ball on the Georgia 42-yard line for the Clemson Tigers. We are tied at 13. Clemson with the ball 13, Georgia 13. Rodney Williams positioning a player, and he'll throw incomplete. Let's take a look at that fake field goal. The right of the screen, number eight, is Nate Lewis. Now, he's a wide receiver. Now, I think this is a funny call. Obviously, they felt Clemson was going to over-pursue and they could get the ball on the reverse. But, Brent, I think this is a field goal type of game. A field goal is going to win or lose it. I think you give your kicker a chance to make the field goal. Well, James Earl, number nine, was the first defender in there. and He was not fooled at all. The play was given away on the right side. Clemson stormed in, but they cannot cash in on the opportunity, and Clemson will punt it away here in the third quarter. The fair catch being signaled at the nine-yard line is bobbled. And Clemson has recovered. Turned the punt earlier for a touchdown, you remember. This time, he just took his eye off the ball because he had three orange jerseys around him. And Brent, that is Georgia's first turnover of the year. Plenty of room. It just hit his shoulder pad and bounced off. We have 6.38 to go in the third quarter. Georgia 13, Clemson 13. Williams slips. Slips after he pulled out from center. And the field goal unit comes on the field. It'll be up to David Treadwell. Well, Clemson really missed a golden opportunity. They had all the momentum after the fumbled uh, punt. They had first down on the five-yard line, and then the big thing was the penalty. But I didn't think, don't think you can coach negatively like, like Clemson here. They're afraid to throw an interception. you got to give your quarterback at least a chance. This time on third and obviously a passing situation, as he rolls out the west wet field, he slips and goes down. Fudwell has made field goals of 30 and 43 yards. And this one good. Fudwell's third field goal, a 29-yarder. And it moves Clemson ahead, 16-13. The kind of game we expect in this neighborhood. Williams only 4 of 11. This is a team that rode Homer Jordan to a national championship back in 1981. Now let's see what Williams does on third and eight. He completes it, but the wide receiver stepped back after catching the ball. Gary P Cooper, number 25, working against Ben Smith on that side. Boy, it just drives you nuts when you have eight yards. The wide receiver doesn't run the, the pattern deep enough to pick up the first down. That ball was well thrown by Williams, but Hooper made the mistake of not getting the first down yardage. Now on fourth down, Coach Ford in a time bind inside of 10 seconds. Oh, and a timeout boy. is going to be called by Clemson. They are down to one timeout. Well, a communication breakdown on the part of the Clemson team and Coach Ford just holding his head in his hands. The offense has gone back on the field. They will try for the first down. Fourth and a yard to go. The ball is at the Georgia 35. Johnson and Allen. They're the running backs behind Williams. Johnson. Didn't take it, but Williams kept it for the first down. A terrific call on fourth down, Brent, because the defense expects the fullback plunge or the tailback over the top. They're playing really aggressively, but the option forces the defense to play discipline, and that's tough to do on fourth and short. Rodney Williams reads it beautifully, 
sticks the ball in the fullback's chest and then pulls it back out and picks up the first down. I like that call a lot. Boy, that's tough to defend on fourth down when the defense really wants to tee off. Slick fake. Yeah, that's nice. First down for the Tigers. So oh, they didn't waste no. now. No, no, Timeout no. is being called again I by Clemson. I have never seen such mismanagement of a clock in my life by both teams. Clemson's used their last timeout. And back here, it is Clemson 16, Georgia 13. 12 12 to go. Danny Ford without a single time. He has really oh. run out down there on the sideline. And, and he is uh, upset with, with good reason. You can't be wasting timeouts. They're a very valuable commodity when you have a three point ball game. So it is first down for Clemson. And the tailback, Terry Allen, into the middle of that defense for Coach Ford. If you're Coach Ford, you're really thinking touchdown here because a touchdown really puts this Georgia team in a bind. Of course, a field goal just makes it a six-point game. A touchdown can beat you. So Clemson needs to think touchdown here. Fredwell, three of three today. And remaining in the game. Oh, Williams to the sideline and complete. Oh. He broke Allen out of the backfield. Oh. Rodney Williams is upset with him, Grant, because he had an easy touchdown throw there to Terry Allen. He was open earlier. Now it's third and nine. Williams incomplete. Overthrows Ricardo Hooper. Adam again, Brent. He is just throwing the ball too high and too far today. And Treadwell to try another one. He's nailed three here this afternoon of 30, 43, and 29 yards. Now an attempted 42 yard for David Treadwell. George has blocked two kicks in the last couple of years of Clemson's. A big moment. No good. And they get in on that one. Miles Smith right here is going to come off the corner. Now, he may have gotten a piece of it with his left hand, but he, in any event, he made Treadwell hurry the kick. He comes right off the corner. Georgia has done a sensational job over the last several years of blocking Clemson kicks. His left paw gets up there and may have tipped that ball. Lars Tate at tailback. They fake to him, and Jackson rolls to the left and completes his pass to tight end Troy Sadowski. Forced out of bounds by Gene Beasley. Ten minutes to go. Tate and Jackson conferring about the call. Slot formation to the right. Under pressure, Jackson goes deep down the middle. Complete. Tremendous catch by Warner. A 37-yard pass from quarterback Jackson to tight end Kirk Warner. And the dogs are alive. I'm really surprised by the defensive call. Clemson is a vanilla defense, but there's an inside blitz. See, Haynes, number 14, he's an inside linebacker, man-for-man -man coverage, and Warner is 6'3", just taller than the, the defender, and makes the play off of Beasley. But I don't believe he should blitz there. Keep a center fielder, prevent the big play. Jackson comes up with a big play offensively. They come with the big fella, Tate. Cut off and turns it upfield inside the 10. Showing you why he is such a talented running back. Knew exactly when to turn that play upfield. He has carried the ball 19 times for 84 yards. No carry any more important than that one right there. It's first and goal. Rodney Hampton replaces Tate who takes a breather. Hampton coming around the left side. He's cut off, but he manages to escape and gets into the end zone for the Bulldogs. Just your normal neighborhood war between Georgia and Clemson. Rodney Hampton gets it in. Georgia 20, Clemson 16. Hold on. Here we go. Goes back across the field. Short of the first down. James Coley, the tight end. And Vince Guthrie, number 54, was there defensively.
6.56 and Clemson forced to punt it away. And they have changed return man for Siles punt. Mike Bowen, number 12, checks in. They want someone sure-handed now just to make a catch. He fakes it. The Clemson defense oh gets down at the oh one-yard line. Did it go in the end zone? No. Oh. That was John Johnson, number 12, who chased that punt down, a 43-yarder. And the freshman makes a huge play. And the crowd very much comes into factor as a play now. He tips the ball back. It never crosses the plane. And there's two or three other orange jerseys there to put the stop on it. He simply had one of those big plays from a specialty team moments ago. Well, you're right. Stopping the ball down on the one-yard line. But look at the defense. Today, 158 yards. The, the uh, Georgia offensive line has done a marvelous job of controlling a very good defensive front. Ellis, the fullback. Take the tailback. Jackson, oh, and they tried to steal the ball from him. Tony Stevens, the nose man, went right after the football. I think that defensive front thought it was going to be a quarterback sneak all the way, and that may have been a safety. They said no. His momentum was uh, over the over the plane of the goal line. This defensive fr front, how would you like to be there? Guess quarterback sneak the whole way. And they're right there to make the play. That's Stevens, 65. That defensive front, Tony Stevens, Michael Dean Perry. Raymond Chavis. Jackson sprinting in the end zone. Can't get out. This is going to be a safety. James Lott, number five, and Gene Beasley, 27 all over him. from the inside and the outside. Number five, the defensive back Lott fights off the block of Tate, slows him up just enough to get some help from 27 Beasley. I'll tell you, that's where they took a gamble. They figured they were going to come with some safe type of play and they went an all-out blitz. And look, look at all the penetration. Jackson had no chance whatsoever. And Lott, number five, did a great job of slowing him down to, so his, till his teammates got there. And now, a field goal can beat Georgia. That's the significance of that safety. On first down, Williams flips it to McFadden. The trailing back. Defensively, it was Guthrie again. Cooper in motion. There's McFadden. Thompson first down, an 11 yard burst. Terry Allen replaces McFadden to tailback. Allen. Inside the 35. But the Tigers here with a second and eight from the 31. And again, it is Lancaster. And Aaron Chubb cuts him off, and I'm surprised about that call by Coach Ford. So they have set up a third and long situation. They've made it very tough on this call. Now the option. Allen steps away. Allen creates it. Allen for the corner. It sets up this play to fake the fall of the ball of the fullback and then the defense really just overruns it They had it pretty well defended and Terry Allen a great cutback runner great vision great eyes And he puts uh, Clemson very much in a position to win this game As Treadwell who beat Georgia a year ago Continues to warm up here on the sideline Obviously, Danny Ford knows very well where Treadwell likes the ball spotted to make a kick. So ultimately, by the time fourth down rolls around, it will be wherever he likes it. This leaves Clemson with a first and 15.
McFadden. Got to the 11-yard line. Brent Collins, linebacker, brings him down there. And it's going to be second down and eight. Time running down toward 130. Clemson without a timeout. And they must be very careful when they elect to move this field goal team in if it comes down to that. They cannot stop the clock with a timeout. McFadden. Inside the 10-yard line. And Ford has to be very aware of the clock now. It's moving down toward 110. This will be a third down from about the seven yard line. They would have to go near the three for a first down. We're moving down inside of a minute. He cannot allow the clock to run out before Treadwell gets on the field. A couple of substitutions from the sideline and the clock continues to move. Thompson will try to bring it down, so Dooley will not have any time left. Straight ahead. That was Tracy Johnson up over the top. Now the clock running. Treadwell from the sideline. Here it comes. A year ago, Treadwell defeated Georgia with a field goal. History can repeat itself here this afternoon. It'll be a 21-yard attempt. Treadwell is three of four. The crowd will tell you this story. For the second year in a row, David Trevor, well, they had one blocked earlier, but very good protection there. And Brent, there was a penalty for too much celebrating again after the field goal. Can you believe that? They'll assess it on the kickoff with two seconds left. Okay, he is a clutch kicker. The fourth time in his career that he's won or tied a game for Clemson with time running out. A year ago, they were tied at 28. David Treadwell. Kicked a 46-yard field goal on the last play of the game. Here today, with two seconds left on the clock, and Clemson down by two points. Treadwell again nails the field goal. The ball will be teed at the 20-yard line. Rusty Sile to kick it off. Clemson has given up a touchdown and a return once this year already. You'll have to haul it all the way. Clemson wins it. So here we are. This is the spot where David Treadwell hit the game winner. And you heard the broadcast. He did it to the Bulldogs two years in a row. Clemson, Georgia, they're so close, just 80 miles apart. And so even though they don't play every year, it just acts and feels like a great college football rivalry. And there's no doubt between 1973 and 1987, this rivalry was at its best. They played 15 straight years. That 87 game was a classic. Thanks for watching the very first ACC throwback on the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Is there a classic game you want to see? Tweet us at the ACCDN. I'm Jeff Michelle.